Hey y'all, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, Alien Isolation, where after hearing the message our mother left for us and, you know, finding out she's still in deep space, we've made our way back from the Neosadora that exploded and knocked out a stabilizer and apparently the station is losing orbit. So that's good. We also made contact with the Torrens, or at least the Torrens made contact with us. And now we need to send a reply to see if we can get the hell off of this place before we die. But before we do that, I did some research. And pretty much everything says if you're going to backtrack, do it now. Not just because you have all the upgrades, but because the game will actually kind of bug out and not let you backtrack past this point and afterwards you and there's also the chance that you will hit a point of no return like the guide that I'm looking at said specifically that you do not want to pursue the main objective right now if you're planning on going back and getting everything so that's what we're gonna do uh, I'm going to be doing a series of cuts I'm gonna explore one tower at a time depending on where I'm at Hopefully, these won't be a huge amount of cuts. Like, I'm just going to be going back and looking for doors that were locked that should still be marked on my map since I rubbed my face on them. Welcome to Seeks and Communications. And, uh, reception. when I see something, I will come back. But for now, I'm going to go exploring on my own. So I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, well, I've made it back down to the server hub in the Lorenz Sistex Spire, and remember this room full of gas? It looks like there is something we might be interested in, in there. Looks like a Nostromo log, now that we have access to the gas mask. This is Lambert confirming the delayed pickup of the refinery we're taking back to Earth. I've entered initial coordinates for the edge of the Epsilon Reticuli using the established haulage route. My next entry will be confirmation of our flight plan to the Sol system. Lambert, out. Okay, I hear that... Ooh. I hear... That, uh... Android. But I don't think he's coming for me. What's in here? F E T C. And I get. And I get. Scrap and compound B. Exciting. Okay, I think that's everything. Oh, no, I need. Okay, he's talking about extended quarantine. He's he didn't see me yet. That's empty. And I got all that. Okay. So before I go away, we should be able to access a room from here that we might have been able to do before and open up shortcuts. But I didn't because I was panicking. I just want to get through this as quick as possible because I was really annoyed. But we can get in here now. And this will open up two jacks. And basically this just opens up the shortcuts back. This will open up a, the shortcut back to the hallway with the save point, which I'm probably actually going to go ahead and take advantage of. I have noticed that the alien does not seem to be... Okay, there are hostiles nearby. It's gonna say like... Never mind, here it is. Hi. You're too late. I got my save. I don't give a shit. It's gonna say it. 
the alien does not seem to be actively hunting me unless I make combat noise, but apparently I'm wrong. But I got my save, so I don't care! Alright, I got my flamethrower out. And the good thing about the save is, at least, like, it does not, even if the alien's after you, at least it doesn't dump the alien in your face as soon as you save. Ooh, flamethrower fuel? And I feel him. I don't know if you guys can hear it. He is definitely moving around out there. Okay, he went back into the vents. I would love to know how to restore power. Like, I was kind of actually expecting that to be in this room. And it's not. So I would love to know how to restore power. Because that will open up another door that I don't have access to before I leave. Why don't you give me a second? I'm going to do a little bit of research and see if I can figure that out. See you in a minute. In the meantime, enter the Heidi Locker. Okay. <laughs> so, after looking into it, I don't know how to open that door right there. But after looking into it a little more, there's not anything that I'm going to miss in there. So, I think I'm just going to ignore it. I think that means I'm basically done in this part of Lorenz, so I will see you guys in the next place I discover something cool. See you in a minute. Okay, hopefully this looks familiar to you guys, because we've been here a few times. I'll just pull up the map so you can see. Found this door over here. Just doing a quick check. Let's use my tuner on it. Maybe there's something good in here. Looks like it was a level 3, regardless, so I could have done this before. Crap, I lost it. Uh, there. You can hear it moving in the vents. I lost it again. Alright, let's, let's try again. I don't want to send off the alarm. There. Ah! I don't know if she's cheering me on or trying to distract me. Stupid stick. There's not a whole lot of leeway for this. There. Alright, what's in here? You hush, you've been fed. <laughs> There's an ID tag. An ID tag, I need to enunciate. Molotov version 3. Very happy about that. Blasting cap. Man, I can't wait to kill myself with a Molotov level 3. Bonding agent. And... Revolver ammo, ethanol. And some goodies in here. Shotgun shells. Empty. And that's it. So, you know, level 3 door with an ID tag and the Molotov V3 behind it. I will accept those things. I think we're done here. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, as you can see by that sign over there, I'm back in the Lorenz Transit Station. And uh, now that I've got the iron torch, I should be able to cut my way through this panel and maybe get into the room next to it. 
If not, I've got no idea how to get in there because it keeps saying a passcode's required and I don't have one. And I have been hunted by the alien and it has not been fun. But, I mean, I really, I could hope for them to let me gallivant and tiptoe through the tulips. But I didn't expect it to actually happen. Okay, what's what's the purpose of this ladder? That ladder has no purpose. It did let me in the room that I wanted to go to, though. All right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna open that door till I'm ready to leave because that could just give the alien another way in here. Leaving it locked is probably the smart decision. There we go. And I get... Sensor, ethanol, ethanol. Someone's private drinking club. Not impressed. I get the Medikit V2. Some flamethrower fuel. I will... Ooh, 50. I will definitely take that. All right, access terminal. File system corrupted, shared, audio, removal of transit. Chief here. As requested, I've resubmitted my report for the removal of the transit system for use elsewhere once Sevastopol's been closed off. I still don't see how it's possible. I know Seekson is trying to recoup as much investment as it can on this place, but the thing is trashed. Junctions have rusted through. Major safety protocols have been ignored for years. It's a wreck. Nothing short of a miracle has stopped it killing off half the population. I feel good about going through the transit system. I don't know about you guys, but maybe that's why he's drinking in here. Alright, use the lever. Bunk. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, Nostromo logs. I've got three of them. There might be another one we can get around here, maybe. Was there anything in the other side of the transit station I can do anything with? I don't remember if I'm thinking of the right place. Oh, you blue bastard, always happy to see you. Actually, yeah, isn't... Wasn't there a level 3 access tuner up those stairs, I hope? I'm so afraid to do anything but crawl right now. Come on, Workplace Solutions, why can't you be closer? Because if I run, I'm going to summon something I really don't want. Especially now that I'm finally starting to build my stories of flamethrower fuel back up. Uh-oh. Hide in here. Please order more of above. Whatever that is. Yes, I'm aware that he is there. We're good. There's a working Joe on the way too. Could you please leave? Uh-oh. Well, I did just save. I don't even know why there's a working Joe android here. We are extremely sorry for the 
current disruption in services. I don't think they want me getting in that room if it's over there. You agree. God damn it, go away. I'll see you guys when I can get to that room. Oh good, the Joe is hostile. Perfect. Alright, see you in a minute. Okay, there was a room here. I ended up just reloading my safe. Have I been in here? Uh, apparently I have. Well, that's kind of a letdown. Thought this was a room I hadn't explored. I didn't get everything out of it, but... Well, damn. Okay. Well, in that case, I think I'm done with the Lorenz area for now. I think we're gonna go... Let's see, where do I want to go next? I'm not sure there's not a room I haven't explored over here. Pretty sure. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go... I think... Back... Um... Let's see, do I want to go to Simed? I don't want to go... I could go to the engineering decks. Service is offline over there. Um. I guess I'm gonna go to Solomon Habitation. Which may mean I reload my save and just go there. Because I don't want to deal with that working Joe. It'll draw the alien. gonna be an an interesting challenge okay you're going further that way I'm okay with that I don't know why you're here open the doors please He's patrolling the other way. Don't know why he's there. He's hostile. But for now, I don't care. I'm going to the Solomon Habitation Tower. I'll see you in a minute. Well, I don't know where to describe I am other than showing you a map. But right here, there's an ID tag that I missed. Also, there's an alien nearby. He's been stomping around out there for a little while. I think he's starting to give up. And apparently I can't go through this door like I thought I did. Okay. Um, in that case, I will see you in a minute. I might see him sooner. I feel like I should point out how annoying it is to get around in the mall. I don't know why I wanted to come here, but I'm glad I'm getting out of it, getting it out of the way first. In the meantime, I finally found something you guys hadn't seen. I don't know when anyone will get this, but someone needs to keep a record, and I don't know. I came here 
a few months ago to write about the collapse of a dream, a future gone sour. For me, the people here were a little more than footnotes for my article. Something to tug at the heartstrings. And when the disappearances started, oh, I was thrilled. This was something big. But now people are afraid, and a communication fault means we're alone. I'm trapped here, just like everybody else. Another footnote. Another victim. So I'm guessing that was Julia Jones. I kind of, uh, kind of feel like she might have gotten kind of what she deserved. If she didn't really care about anybody here. All right. I think the next place I'm going to try to go is go back to the spaceport docks. I feel like I'm finally on my way down there, so hopefully the next time I see you will be when I discover something cool down there. Because I think there's a couple of doors I still needed to open. See you in a second. Well, I found a recording that I missed the first time, probably because I didn't really fully understand what they looked like. I think the first one that looked like a recording was the when I got the maintenance jack. So what's this? Reverse, this is Turner. I found the last power coupling. Took me a while, but it's off now. Just fitting the last security brace. Come find me when you've shut yours down, then we can get the hell out of here. Jesus, man, I'm hearing noises everywhere. Every creak and... Just hurry the fuck up, will you? Did I really not get that one before? That one sounded awfully familiar. All right, well, I'm gonna sneak around to basically that door right there. I'll see you when I get there. Man, I've been really curious to see what's behind this door. We saw this a long time ago. Let me in. Use the lever, pull down, in we go. What do we got? Good. Wow. A bunch of good stuff that I want. Passcode required. I hope you have a passcode. Passcode. That was damn hard to hear. I will take your shotgun shells though. Did you do it to yourself? Or did something do it to you? It's hard to tell. Now it says I've got a passcode for this though. Oh wait, hang on. Um, let's see. Not that. Uh, not that. Not the shutters code. If, if I've got it, or if it lets me enter it, it's supposed to be a code that I've got. Um, wow, that one doesn't even have a number. Really? Was that marked? Seven four three. I doubt that'll be anything. Yeah, incorrect passcode. Um. Huh. Eight 
three, two is not going to be a thing. All right, give me a second to find this. Okay, so this passcode is not actually in the game. Mike Tanaka is the developer for Alien Isolation, and you had to check one of his tweets for this. Apparently the passcode is 2931. And there you go. Look at all this good stuff. Bolt gun ammo, flamethrower fuel, I mostly want the flamethrower fuel and the bolt gun ammo. A Molotov's noisemakers, that stuff I'm maxed out on perpetually, <laughs> forever. EMP mines, I'm maxed. Am, am I maxed out on EMP mines? Really? Yeah, I guess I am. Huh. But still, like, definitely worth coming in here for the flamethrower fuel. Kind of interesting that you had to go check his Twitter for the passcode. Kind of reminds me of Doom 3. Where, you know, you, like, had Martian Buddy and you had to go to a website to find uh, codes for some things. But, you know, yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna fault them for that. It's like, not like there's anything particularly story required in there. Just a lot of good supplies. It's just kind of a nice little Easter egg. Okay, where am I going next? I missed something over here. I missed a floating shotgun. What? Also, I don't know what's going on with the sound on a few things. I, I hit a bug. Like, the game sounds are okay for the most part. But, um, reloading? Here, I'll just show you. Reloading is not nearly as noisy as, noisy as I remember it being. Okay, so where am I going next? Um, I guess I'm going back in this area. See you in a second. So I don't remember if I played this for you guys, so I'm going to play it for you again. Julia Jones, today's update. I suspect After it didn't. After demands, Marshall Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. Yeah, well... Kind of a bitch. You're, you're probably, like, looking for your way off the entire time. So I kind of... I'm not crying tears for you, like you thought you were going to get a big break and then get out and everybody else is going to be left behind to suffer. Turns out that's not the case. Alright, I remember that there was a thing that we needed either the plasma torch or the iron torch done here to get. And finally we've got maximum torch, so I want to see what's behind this door. It's this one over here, isn't it? Oh, hey. Looks like it might be a Nostromo log. Actually, I think it is, isn't it? I think we did see that this was a Nostromo log. It's like, I want to get that. And it's like, no, you need a late game torch for it. Well, we have a late game torch now. So screw you. You're mine. Your secrets will be mine. Also, your flamethrower fuel will be mine. Wow. Is that all scrap? I think that's all scrap. The sensor. Damn. I'm happy just for the flamethrower fuel. Alright, access the log. This is Dallas. I'm about to broadcast the Nostromo report packet back to the solar system before we hit the pods. The nearest open relay station looks to be Sevastopol. Um, all things being well, you'll hear from us once we reach the edge of Seoul. Don't miss us too much. Dallas out. Okay, which one was that? Um, 
Oops. That was the final report. Okay. Well, good to know that we found that. Also, the game... Are you basically talking about this pile of scrap I can't use? Game thinks there's something in here I haven't picked up. And I think it's the scrap. Oh no, EMP, EMP V3. Okay, game, you win. It's not just the scrap. I will take the EMP V3. Although, what's that really going to do? I've seen one android. One android this entire time. Am I really going to need an EMP V3? I've got no clue. But what I do know is there's a point of interest over there that I should probably go check out. So I'll see you guys when I'm there. So here's a button I never pressed. I don't know what that's going to do for me. Okay, that just opens this up directly. So you don't have to go all the way around. And that's the point of interest. That was the... The game was trying to direct me to that button. Okay, that's exciting. Thank you. I never really needed you, little button. I appreciate you trying as hard as you could. But really, you're just kind of unnecessary. Alright. I think there's one more place I want to look. And it's at the transit station. Actually... What? There might be a few places here on the way to the transit station. Okay. So we'll be able to look on the way, I hope. I'll see you guys in a minute. Well, I was going to see you back at transit, but I found a way back into the Marshals Bureau. And there's a couple of things that we can do here, maybe? Um... Specifically in the Chief Marshal's office. I'm going to go ahead and save here. Even though I can hear an alien stomping around. I know he's here. He's mad because I flamed him. And he's probably still in the area. I don't think he disappeared up a vent. He actually kind of bitch slapped me. But I don't think I listened to this, did I? Maybe I did. It's still marked on the map, though. Wait, we should talk about what happened in San Cristobal. Now, it was a nasty business, and I understand that you want to deal with it as quietly and quickly as possible. But I wanted to make sure you didn't do anything rash. I'm talking about catching the specimen without killing it. If we play it smart, we could be set up for life. I have the connections. I can set it up. You're getting old weights, so you can't do this forever. And what are you going to do when Sevastopol closes? You have my number. Ransom out. Yeah, so I think we did listen to that, but it doesn't hurt to hear it again. I'm going to go ahead and heal myself because if he bitch slaps me again, it's really going to hurt. Okay, now there was. Yeah, hang on a sec. Oop, no, I don't want that. Uh, zoom in. What is that? There's a big red X right in front of me. Is that just a... Oh, it's saying that that's locked. Okay. Alright, then I don't think there's anything of interest left in here. I'm going to try to leave, and next time, hopefully, I will see you at the transit station. You hush. <laughs> She's been fed. She's in a good mood. All right. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back at Solomon's transit, but I don't think I'm at the right part, because what I'm looking for doesn't seem to be here. However, after a little bit of research, I think I'm going to encounter it on my way through the story. So here's what we're going to do. 
I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode here, and uh, we'll pick up with a little bit more backtracking, I think, in the Psymed Tower next time. Hopefully that'll be the last place we need to go. Possibly the engineering decks, but either way, I'll see you then. Thanks for coming out and joining me today. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me likes, leave me your comments. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.